Hey guys, got the dragon here again. Uh, this is, I'm doing a cam chain and cam phasers on this 2012 Mercedes C250. Uh, it's got the M271 Evo turbocharged motor. And there's not a lot of information on the internet <clears throat> and or on YouTube about them. But uh, there is a tool, it's called a cam alignment tool and or holding tool and they're online you can get them for 50 or 100 dollars or something or even more but uh, i just went ahead and fabricated my own just cut some slots and you just got to measure center to center and then this is like an inch and a quarter uh, i can't remember what the metric um, measurement is but so just cut a little slot and stick that down over there and that holds everything in place it works good uh, the thing you do have to buy is one of these um it's a T100 Torx <clears throat> tamper proof and it's got to be able to fit over that and then grab a hold of there so you can take them on and off and that's why it's got the hole in it the tamper proof this is about 50 bucks um, I first I first bought one for uh, $25 and it didn't fit <laughs> the hole in the center wasn't big enough even though it said it was the right tool um, the balm tool is the one that makes it for Mercedes. And uh, like I say, it's a tamper proof T100 is a size. T100 Torx is all it is with a big enough hole to go over that little pin that goes in your magnet to sense it. And um, as you can see, I already got the chain. I took the old chain and hooked it to the new chain. <clears throat> and... Uh, I did this by myself I just fed it through and then I cranked it with the wrench I turned the engine over with the wrench clockwise going down and I just kept the slack out you don't want it to fall in it'll get all bound up in there be a mess and um, <clears throat> now that I got it through I'll put this back on top dead center on cylinder number one which is right here and uh, then I'll realign everything this one is uh, just to give you a little tip you can see this one's actually off a little it's tilted a little but when I put this new uh, phaser on and when I'm tightening it um, I'll put a little tension to the right clockwise and before I put the chain on and then it'll be lined up perfect so um, not a lot of information there's other information on timing and all that kind of stuff this isn't a really great video as far as that I just wanted to show that you don't have to buy uh, that fancy alignment tool you can make something and there's other ways you can hold these cams um, So don't let people tell you, you can't <clears throat> The interesting thing that I thought was this is supposed to be an interference motor That's why you're all worried about these things going bad but yet with the cams with the valves partially uh, open and closed you're still able to turn the crank and feed the chain through which shouldn't be possible but it is. It works fine. I watched other people do it, and I just did it. I went real slow, waiting for the thing to stop, thinking the piston's going to come up and connect the valve, but it doesn't. Um, so anyway, so that you can just feed the new chain right on through, and uh, that's it. Simple as that. So anyway, enough rambling on. Dragon says thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you're doing this job, man, mm, good luck to you. It's a tough one. Peace out.